Hello, my name is Armin Zambrano and this is the second video that I'm doing with regards to our infrastructure and how it works and how we help uh, developers. I left the previous video um, without talking uh, about two specific things uh, which I would like to mention. Over here we're loading up what is called the uh, Tinderbox uh, TBPL website uh, page for the Tri server which is a specific branch. Um, the difference right now between uh, the Firefox branch, which is Mozilla Central, and this one is that two different versions of TDBPL are being loaded up right now. The only difference is right now that this is the default value that gets passed, use billbot equals one. And for now you will have to know about this until we actually completely switch for everything to use billbot. Because right now um, we send emails to a certain machine called Tinderbox which queues the messages up and does some log processing and until that log processing does not happen the builds don't show up over here um, when they use the use billboard flag we can actually see the status of different jobs earlier than through Tinderbox that's just something that you should notice probably we will delete this section from the next time we do this uh, video. Also you have to notice that uh, for the try builds there's actually something called uh, try syntax which I will go deeper into it. You'll see that the pushes for the try branch will look something like this. Another thing that you should notice on uh, TBPL is that when you hover uh, a build you can see that if you you can cancel all of the builds and I'm not gonna do that otherwise the developer is not going to be happy. All of these builds will go purple because it's an exception and no more resources will be wasted. The reason that we have a try syntax is actually trying to reduce how many machines or how many jobs they get used. Some people might not, might just want a Windows build or just unit test or sometimes Talos or performance run. Something else that you should notice is when you hover over here you'll see something called self-serve build API which allows you to control your builds and jobs. I'll go into that later on. And this just shows you the different uh, URLs. The difference with this branch uh, compared to the other ones is that each chain set even though one is on each push even though it's on top of each other really each one of these is a whole head by itself that they are independent from the previous changes and the try builds and try test jobs they do not get uh, merge or coalesce if that's how you pronounce that word um, that means on Mozilla Central for instance if I push a change and then somebody else goes on top of me and there is not a Linux machine available at that moment the moment that it becomes available both changes or both pushes that would be merge together and only one of the uh, pushes will actually be tested. Um, if you have further questions, because I don't think I explained it really well, uh, you can ask me later. And there's something else you might want to know. There's something called the uh, tree status. This is what it looks like right now. It will be a little different uh, in the near future because this still uses what is called Tinderbox, which we're moving away from it and it gives you a lot of extra information about the tree and if it's closed if you can actually push if there it said over here close you cannot land a push uh, you cannot land any of your changes there's something going on and there would be an explanation of why and these pages they actually get administered right now over here in the administration tinderbox page at some point it's going to be changed and each one of the different test jobs are shown over here or build jobs for them to show up on TBPL, you actually have to hit uh, uh, one of these ticks that allows you to show it and the other one is for something called scraping which is not very important. This page only is being can only be loaded if you have a a sheriff password um, I mean you can only change it if you have a sheriff password and that only happens if you become a sheriff. Let's look at the try server a little bit into detail there's a wiki page, go wiki, go to the page wiki.mozilla.org, release engineering, try server, and there's uh, explanations on how 
it works, what are the differences with other branches, and what you can use it for, right? So over here, <coughs> I'm going to show you that I uh, created a, a change, and then I tried to push it to uh, the try server, and I had to pass a flag force, so I create a new head over there, otherwise it wouldn't let me. And I see some messages saying, oh, you should, you cannot do this. You actually have to go to this website and try to learn about the try syntax. Uh, what is that? I actually committed the change with this information, but for the try server to work, I actually have to start the comment like this, right? And I'm gonna show you how to build it up. We go to the try chooser syntax. The reason that we have a try chooser syntax is because the, on the try server we try to save resources. Um, we also have the problem that that branch, the changes do not get uh, coalesced or merged together. So that's why we try to be as a uh, we try to save as many resources as we can. Um, you can do a comment, you push your change with this comment, which would match exactly what uh, Mozilla Central runs. Um, if you don't, it's pretty much the same, but without running Talos. Uh, dash T stands for Talos, or performance tests. Then you can choose to do only uh, optimized builds, and it would change it over here to just have a O rather than D for debug and O for optimize and then you can just choose certain specific uh, platforms you can see it over here how they get added after the dash P flag and then you can choose certain specific uh, ref tests I mean unit tests and you can uh, specify them after the dash U um, uh, flag and then again you can choose which uh, Talos jobs you want to run. Then you can copy this and use it on your message, on your comment over here. Once I would push it, it would actually create uh, um, different jobs for the Linux and Linux 64 platform, only optimize. So that shows that we can customize what we build. Also, an another interesting thing about the try server is that you can actually get uh, emails, email notifi notifications of your job status and how the jobs actually do. Over here, we can see the different pushes that there is to the try server, right? Different options. And over here, we can even see another flag which is pass, pass to Bugzilla, and you can specify which bug. Um, that is pretty useful if you want to push a change and then the status gets updated on the bug uh, without you having to do anything and other people who are CC'd would see the notification without any of your actions. Uh, let's look at something else before we finish this. Um, there's the build.mozilla.org website which you need LDAP access to be able to look at it and from here we have some links. Some of them are useful for you, some of them you cannot even load them up. Um, but let's gonna we're gonna look at Clogger, uh, self serve, and uh, some of these. Okay, so we have a we have a place that we actually have um, all the dumps for from Billboard, so people can actually build tools based on uh, uh, the different JSON output that we get, and one of those is the actual Go Faster dashboard that I'll show you in a little bit. There is something else, else clo called Clover. When you have a Clover, Clover build, it means that um, the object directory that gets generated during your build, it actually gets removed from the next machine that picks up a job. So again, I can go to the accessibility branch and mark every type of job over there. Or I can select certain types of jobs or specific slaves that are in a weird state and then we go at the bottom of it and we click clover now and it would actually uh, next time that those machines take up those jobs they're gonna clover and remove the object directory 
those type of builds they take longer because uh, doing dependent geo uh, dependent builds on a previously existing object directory normally tend to be faster. Um, I don't want to show you anything from here. Oh yeah, actually yeah. Once you have a, a TBPL, I showed you before there was a URL over here which is called self serve build API, which pretty much allows you to do some of the jobs that uh, release engineers used to do for developers cancel jobs and stuff like that so if you load the self-serve website you can actually look at the different branches you have an API documentation so you can build your own tools um, and you can look at the history of what things have been requested uh, once we load up uh, Mozilla Central we can see uh, different jobs that are pending. We can cancel them. We can even increase the priority of the jobs so they get queued earlier and they are taken earlier by the different machines. Then you can also cancel a job that is currently running or even request that a certain job gets triggered again. Over here we see the different jobs and we see the different the color uh, identifies their status um, over here we have some jobs that perhaps there has been some infrastructure uh, problems uh, with the Android builds or tests uh, failing by the machines not the actual test failures um, and sometimes uh, the sheriff would poke the build duty to see if they can see anything beyond the actual logs. Okay. One last thing I want to show you is uh, from TVPL you have a page which are called uh, the running jobs and over here you can see all the jobs that are being run in our infrastructure in which masters they run, uh, which chain sets, what time they started, uh, how long they have been running for, when they were submitted um, you can see that right now there's 379 uh, jobs being run. There's also the pendings queue, which allows you to see which jobs are pending and for how long they have been waiting for. And then there is something called the uh, uh, recent job history, which allows you to load things like uh, <coughs> which jobs are currently running where, and the actual history and how many jobs were being run, how many jobs they were being pen pending and you can see this by breakdown of branches and also platforms and there's a very neat tool that uh, the ATM has built that analyzes the billboard dumps that we do, the JSON dumps that we do and they build different dashboards which are still work in progress but shows us how long the actual builds take over time sometimes it could take longer because uh, there has been a, a lot of clovers or for different reasons um, I'm showing you this because there is a very neat tool which is the build charts and you can look at the different uh, chain sets and how long they actually have taken and what's the last job that was run why am I showing you this? because I want to show you in a visualize uh, in, a, in a diagram that allows you to see how things work so let's say over here we have the Android optimized build that gets finished Some, somewhere before the end of it it will notify the test Android jobs which will get triggered okay and those are different builds that happen so if we scroll down over here we can see that the Linux build around this time was notifying the test machines that they're ready I believe the blue area we see is how long it takes the machine uh, before it actually starts the job that means that perhaps the machines are not available or there's some problems on scheduling over here we see the 10.6 test jobs that have been uh, queued and run and over here we see that Windows 7 is taking a long time to start the jobs because there's actually what is called wait times uh, meaning that there's not enough machines to take the jobs so whenever they're ready or available they'll pick up the job and I believe that's it for today. Uh, I'm welcoming any type of feedback and I hope you like this and it will 
help a lot of you. Thank you for listening. Bye.